destruction that they wreak upon ecosystems. So my poem is about lionfish, which are an invasive species in South Carolina. And um, being that I'm a marine biologist, I'm highly invested in getting rid of those suckers. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to share this with you guys. With a mane that sways in the currents, back and forth, back and forth, a rhythm that whispers, I'm here to stay. Side to side, he blends with movement. His coloration is a silent victory, a sort of sinister stare, accompanied by an undeserved complacency swaying in the muck. Stealthily swaying, watching and waiting. The rocking inner tidal laughs with every step my bare feet take. With every lift, my balance quakes. My eyesight ripples. I don't belong. We both know it to be true. Our realities strike octaves. Still I step, still he laughs, and still I blindly stare. Upwelling further clouds my view. Knee deep I am lost while I meander. My motions ensue, his stillness cemented. The barely there visibility, now nowhere to be seen. But still I know your silhouette, the trail of wreckage left in your wake the depletion of the local fauna, so unaware and innocent of your formidable wrath, like some impersonation of charismatic megafauna. Your Lilliputian reign proves to be prominent, paramount. Stop, squish, sink. Still, he sways, freeze, fall, fool! Didn't you know? He hisses and snarls, roars and rumbles, Booms and billows, I am the king of this jungle. I live where I eat what I take what I want. What can you do? And suddenly the sea is gone. I am deep into my thoughts. What can I do? What can I do? I'll tell you what I can do. I can create an empire, a legacy, a never-ending story. I can steal you from the earth. I can spare the world your evils from the poison in your veins, a creature so vile in life and in death. The world has no time for your frivolous destruction. And if I could uncover the crevices where you creep, then maybe, just maybe, I could make this vision true. I can rid the world of your detestable nature. I can do all the things you say. I am just as great as you. I am just the same, if not greater than you. We are the same. He so secretly camouflaged, and I the watcher, the wallflower. We are the same, and yet I feel such abhorrence, such aversion to his being, and a simple word begins to echo in my mind. Reciprocation. Before I can speak, his silence breaks. Can you breathe the sweet concoction, the great contrivance of the sea? Can you submerse your soft-bodied being, stand protection, and survive? No? Then I win. And I know it to be true. He obliviates, desecrates, mutilates, and then he simply stops and waits. And yet we are the same. He, I, our Marsha. Invasion.